Hello friends, welcome to bsptrainings.com. My name is Amit Sharma and today we are going to see an interesting analysis called variance analysis in OBAE. So variance could be difference between two data elements. In today's example we see the variance between your actual sales and target sales. I am going to display this variance analysis. We use conditional formatting and we also use dynamic line chart and we would be highlighting some specific area and variance okay so business would like to see some part of the variance we would be seeing how to implement this i'm going to use a virtual machine 406 and uh, the analysis is going to be very simple i have a uh, actual sales actual revenue and when we we have another element called target revenue right the variance would be pretty simple the variance would be a sum difference between actual and target revenue actual and target revenue and in addition to this we'll find the variance percentage which is percentage value of this the so variance percent would be same divided by actual revenue and we would be highlighting the way the revenue is more than target where the revenue is less than target so variance is positive it means my actual is more than my target where the variance is negative we fail to meet target we'll highlight them explicitly i like to find a variance across across last 12 months or all months for previous year right let's create new analysis so in order to make it easy to understand we'll confine to we confine our focus for 12 months for a specific year so i'll filter it on let's say i like to see variance for 2010 for last 12 months okay we already have two majors here revenue and target revenue right we create one major over here called variance so i'll edit a formula which is and custom heading custom heading is variance the formula is pretty straightforward revenue minus target revenue this is your variance we would like to also like to see variance analysis sorry variance percentage so i added formula take the same formula what i did for variance and divide by actual it could be your variance um, percentage added formula and divide by actual into 100 because the percent type i also change the formatting of this as a percentage into 100 i give a custom defined name as variance percentage followed by this i'll change the format of this under column properties data format this is going to be percentage type right let's see this first so this is i got the data now somewhere variance is negative somewhere variance is positive this is very flattened view but i like to give a many meaningful view to the customer so variable is negative variance is negative i explicitly display with the red color variance is positive i display with green color i'm going to use a symbol over here so well under criteria section you can go to variance and um, under column properties there's a conditional formatting i can add a condition right if variance is positive it means my actual is more than my target right is positive more than zero i add a condition so you can use a conditional you can apply color background color foreground color and so on i'm going to use a image over here up arrow which represents target mat okay up arrow represent target mat and use another condition on variance percentage uh, if it is less than zero less than zero it means variance fail to fail to meet that's a negative variance which i display with a down arrow right so i think first one i have not chosen the right column let me choose once again it should be in variance percentage greater than zero 
target mat less than zero fail to meet target target mat which is with the up arrow right or i can use a equals to as well okay so i use a basic formatting in this example let's see this now so i could now it is making meaningful view to me as a customer wherever i see the target is not mat as a down arrow right my business like to see one more way of it they like to see a line chart of this right actually what they want let me tell you over here they like to see variance variance percentage and in addition to this they also like to see where we are close to target target mat fail to meet target and another kpa they wanted close to target so so far we discussed target mat where variance is positive uh, and fail to meet target fail to meet target where variance is negative right greater than zero less than zero and i also like to see one more element called close to target that i'm going to display in a line chart close to target so we find if variance is is in between minus zero sorry it's between minus zero to minus ten it means we are close to target minus ten percent it is considered close to target right, so whichever month we are close to target i like to explicitly highlight those months right so one way we see how to highlight in a tabular view we'll see one more way how to highlight them in a line chart so i add a one more view over here called line chart right this line chart i'm going to display it over here and major i need only variance percentage so i have got multiple variants i put them in a exclude multiple majors i exclude them and keep only one major called variance percentage right here i like to highlight where target is mat and target is close to close to meet target right between 0 to minus 10 percent it is considered close to target so whichever month we are close to target i like to explicitly highlight those months how do you do that there's an option called dynamic scaling you can use static and dynamic scaling i click on edit graph properties under scale there's an option called scale marker so what marker you like to use there's an option plus you can display with a line or range because in our example we like to display whichever month we are close to target so i use range and the caption i use close to target right and I display range, the value would be minus 10 to 0, right? Minus 10 to 0. And I highlight with a, you can use your own color. I'm going to use a yellow color. It would be a kind of band. Correct. So this is what business like to see. So in the first tabular view, you can see the various, you can see the variance where target is mat or fail to meet. In the line chart, we see the target is mat, is positive, it means uh, we met the target, and negative means fail to meet the target, but close to target, it means whichever the yellow band, whichever month fall under the yellow band called close to target. In the month of February and May, we were close to target. Right? So this is what people can do it. So that's it for today's video. There, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel to access more videos. There are a couple of more videos are available for dynamic, dynamic scaling as well. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. For any training and consulting requirement, you can visit our site www.bisptrainings.com. Thanks for watching today's video and have a great day ahead.